started? <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> Psalm 100 has this amazing packed verse. Listen to it. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. That's verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Be thankful to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generation. And in verse 2 says this, Serve the Lord with gladness. Right now, there's a lot of bad news. The Ukraine war, there's a lot that you could see every day that would make you so sad and discouraged. It, it makes sense that our response to evil and horrible things like this is to be sad. But God says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Gates in the Bible and courts represent a special place, either where the king was or the temple, the gate of the temple. And here this verse says, enter his gates with thanksgiving. So if you got invited to a royal person's house, how you behaved in the presence of the king would really matter. Probably somebody would coach you and say, Okay, don't say this. This is how you got to bow. You got to do all this stuff. Well, God is saying in this verse, enter his gates with thanksgiving. Yeah, but I thought I could just come to God any way I wanted. Come to me, all you who are weary. That's true. But I feel like in this season where there's almost only bad news all around us, when we come into his gates, we got to have thanksgiving and worship and praise. So listen, worship God every day. Praise him, thank him. The other day, I, I read some of the news about what was happening and I got so discouraged and so sad and I decided to apply this verse and I started worshiping and thanking him because when you enter his gates you're in with him where there's joy where there's his kingdom reign where there's peace you got a lot to be thankful for are you even thankful that you can enter into his gates Let's be joyful that Jesus, who says he's the gate, has brought us to the Father. Worship is powerful. Just Jehoshaphat was a dude. He knew what to do before the battle in 2 Chronicles 20. He sent the worshipers ahead. Come on, let's worship the Lord with gladness. Pray for the Ukraine. Pray for peace. But are you worshiping Jesus as Lord? Or are you in a way worshiping information and becoming under it and not serving the Lord with gladness anymore. Worship God every day. Bye. <laughs>